Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to find out how you can send a deposit invoice for your project and what you need to do after that to send additional invoices. This video is part of a full series on zero projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link in the playlist in the description below. So let's jump into zero now and see how it's done. So what we'll do is we'll use this Abbey and Wells tax compliance project. And you can see in here, we've got an initial estimate there of $3,000 for the whole job. And so far we've racked up $503 worth of time and expenses. So we haven't actually invoiced the client anything yet, but let's just say that we wanted to invoice them $1,000 upfront. So all you need to do is go to invoice and deposit, and then you can choose on what basis you want to actually invoice them. So this is coming off the estimate, the $3,000 estimate, and you can base it off the estimate there. You can see that that radio button um, is selected. And then you can say, for example, put in 10 for 10% and that's $300. And then you can create an invoice um, for $300. Or if you like, you can choose custom amount and you can put your own amount in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put thousand dollars in there so we'll send them an invoice for one thousand dollars for a deposit I'll just click on open okay so that's just created a normal invoice you can see it says deposit there for Abbey and Wells tax compliance a thousand dollars so to finish off this invoice we just need to put in the due date and we'll just put in a general ledger code there for sales okay and that's all done it's added a bit of GST on so we'll click on approve and then we'll go back to the project. Okay, so now we've invoiced them for $1,000 there. So to invoice them for the rest of the job, if you go to your invoices drop down, you can see you can't send a deposit anymore. That option is gone and quote has been grayed out. So you can send them future invoices based, based on either tasks and expenses or the total project amount. So I'll show you what happens if we do tasks and expenses now. And you can see here that we've got $503 racked up for tasks and expenses so far, and we've invoiced them $1,000. So what you do when you've done a deposit is you get the normal tasks and expenses invoice. So that's pulled through what we can invoice them so far, but it's also got this credit deposit option up here. So if you credit the $1,000 deposit, then you end up sending them an invoice for minus $497. And if I uncheck that, it will just send them um, an invoice for the time and the expenses that have been racked up, which is the 503. So you've just gotta be mindful that when you've actually asked for a deposit, you need to select whether you want to credit them um, for that deposit on your next invoice or on any of your future invoices. And if you do, you've just got to make sure it doesn't go into minus. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and bill them for the 503. And then later on, when we've finished the job and we've racked up the rest of it, we can bill them for that as well. But we will need to credit them the $1,000 at some point. So I just wanted to show you that just so that you can be aware of it. The other thing we could do is we could invoice them based on the project amount again. So let's say that no matter what the time and expenses um, were going to come out at, we were only ever going to invoice them for $3,000 all up. So we've done $1,000 of it. So if we click on project amount, we've got $2,000 to go. So once again, um, you can credit them for that $1,000 there. So what I'll do is I'll just pretend that this is the final invoice that we're sending and everything is done. So we'll just say that everything is invoiced. We'll close the project. We'll credit them the $1,000 and we'll send them um, an invoice for the balance of the $3,000, which is $2,000. So we'll open that up. Okay, there we are. So you can see we've got the three grand on there and then we've got the minus 1,000, which is the credit for the deposit. So once again, I'll just put in the rest of the information, 
click on approve. Okay, we'll go back to the project. So that's closed now. And there it is, 3000 estimate, 3000 invoiced. And if we just come over here, we can see both of our invoices there. Okay, so that's how you can send an initial deposit and a few things you've got to watch out for when you are sending invoices for the rest of the job.